Hey guys, welcome to another lunchtime review. Today I'm going to try one of these Artisan Bistro. This is the Grilled Steak Beef Steak Burrito. The Artisan Bistro makes burritos that I've seen. Um, it is contains no GMO ingredients, beef, raised without antibiotics, no artificial colors or flavors, 16 grams of protein. This particular one is, the, like I said, the Grilled Beef Steak. It is made with organic cheese, tortilla, and vegetables. We bought these at Kroger. They were $2.50 a piece for a burrito. I don't think that's too awful. I mean... I don't know, maybe it's a little expensive, but I don't know. I don't buy a lot of burritos, you know. Um, let's see, this one is two, 330 calories. But it's hard to read through this camera. 330 calories for the whole burrito. And there's your other information if you want it. Okay, and you can do these in the oven. Uh, maybe a toaster oven, I don't know. Anyway, you can do it in the oven if, we, if you want. We don't do that, we do microwaves. So we're going to um, the settings on high. We're gonna remove the burrito from the package. Place the burrito on a microwave safe plate with flat facing up and then we're going to microwave it for one minute and then flip the burrito over and microwave for an additional 55 seconds and let it sit for a minute before you actually eat it. So let me see if I can... Yes, I use my pizza. I have an actual plate, so that's what I'm going to put in. Alright, flat side up. Flat side up for a minute, flip it over and then do uh, flat side down for 55 seconds. I'll be back when it comes out. All right, here it is out of the microwave, and I just cut it in half so it looked cool off, honestly. And I'll probably cut it in smaller pieces when I'm actually trying it. But there's the steak while it's hot and the rice and stuff like that. Um, so anyway, it has to sit for a few minutes. It's still fairly soft right now, which is good. It didn't get hard on the ends, which is most of these uh, microwave burritos that are frozen get really, really like tough. And I mean, I'll, like a cracker almost, almost at the ends um, to where they're hard. You can't hardly eat them. This one did not, at least not yet. So I'm going to let this cool off a bit, and I'll be back. Okay, just have some time to cool off. This is the bite I'm going to take. I um, really can't see it, but it's got peppers and steak and looks like rice, beans. Hmm. Yeah, it does have rice. Um, it has a little bit of corn. The flavor is good. It's got a little spice to it. Um, you know, like a good Mexican meal should have a little spice to it. The steak is good and tender. No, yeah, it's good and soft. The tortilla itself is pretty good. I'm gonna try another center. And then I'll get an end piece out, see if it's any tougher. It was a little harder to cut, but there's a good view of the inside because it kind of fell apart. But there's some of that steak. Yeah, the steak's good. It's, um, it's very, very tender. I like the flavors. It's your typical um, burrito flavor. I mean, it's nothing um, different than what you get at any other frozen burrito, really. Um, just that it does have some um, healthier options, some organic options in, in there. Um, there's not a lot of cheese that I see. It says it's made with cheese, but I don't see a lot of cheese. If there's cheese, there's not a ton of it. It's probably mixed in with the rice, but it's not... Cheese is not the main ingredient. It's really more um, rice, corn, and uh, a little bit of that steak in there. Let me try an end piece. Hmm. Not too bad. The, um, excuse me, um, it's hard to swallow. The, um, the end pieces usually get hard. I mean, when you microwave a burrito, usually the end pieces get like crunchy hard. These aren't like that. They're, they're a little tougher, but they're not hard. They're actually edible. You can actually eat these. Um, I like this. Um, I like the I like the flavors. I like the textures. Um, the rice is a little um, soft, but it's okay. It's it's I wouldn't want it uh, crunchy, so a little soft. I'd rather have it that way. Um, 250 for organic ingredients and that uh, no GMO, no antibiotics, no artificial colors, and 16 grams of protein. Hey, it's pretty good. I mean, is it the best burrito ever? No, but it's as good as any other frozen burrito out there, trust me. Um, so if you're looking for this type of thing where it's got the organic and stuff, um, this would be a good alternative for you. I'm going to give it, I'm going to give it a four, um, just to be fair, it, it is a good burrito. It's not like I said, top of the line. It's like you went out to eat burrito, but um, but it is a good burrito. Uh, the stuff, the fillings are pretty good, mostly in the middle. The ends are, eh, they're not too bad. They're a little short, but they're they're not bad. 
Um, so yeah, I'm gonna give it a four. Definitely worth trying out if you're looking for these type of things, the, the organic and stuff. But uh, if you're looking for just a, a frozen burrito or just to eat and you don't care about any of that stuff, any of the frozen burritos would be just as good as this. It's about the same. So anyway, hope you enjoyed this video and thanks for watching.